What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.2 RC or release candidate for both developers and for public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got the RC build for iPadOS 26.2, watchOS 26.2, macOS Tahoe 26.2, tvOS and HomePod version 26.2, along with VisionOS 26.2. But of course in this video we are talking all about iOS 26.2 RC and everything included in the updates, if anything at all, which we'll talk about here in a moment. But you can see the size came in at 8.52 gigabytes on my iPhone 17 Pro Max. Of course, that's always going to be a large size when you're going from a beta to a potential final release, like in release candidates and also vice versa. So that size is large for that reason. Let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update. If we head into our settings, general about the new build is 23C52. So that could be the very final build that could be the public release build or we could see something a little bit different and we'll talk about why i think that might be a little bit different later on in this video but if we go down and check out the modem firmware that is 1.20.06 for the iphone 17 series all right so now what's new here in ios 26.2 rc and the first thing is that we have a bug fix for the blank icon bug so i talked about this and i showed this in my apple weekly episode where the threads icon down here would always show a blank icon Icon. Like even after I rebooted my device, even after I moved the icon, it would still show up as a blank icon down there in the bottom right hand corner. And that was also happening on my main device over here, my main 17 Pro in another area. The icon would always be blank. But now with the RC that has been fixed, as you can see, it shows the threads icon as intended. Also, some users were reporting that the control center ghosting bug was back in beta three, but it looks like here in the RC build, it has been removed. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, sometimes when you pull down the control center and you went up to dismiss the control center, you would still see some artifacts, like some ghosting. You would still see like a really vague view of the control center after it went away, like a ghost almost. But that appears to be gone here in the RC as well. I, that was gone for me in beta three. So this is not new for me. But if you were having issues with ghosting with the control center, check again on the RC because it very well could be resolved. Now we might also have a fix for CarPlay with the RC build of iOS 26.2. So a lot of you guys have been telling me that CarPlay has been giving you issues. It would be rebooting. It would glitch. Sometimes the app icons would not change to the color or the tent that you had it set to. So if you've had any of those issues before and you download the RC and it's fixed, let me know in a comment down below. I've personally not had any issues with CarPlay, so I cannot test to this or, you know, I cannot attest to those bugs that people were having before. So I can't tell if they've been fixed, but if you have, let me know in a comment down below. But I would imagine that the RC would be the one to fix those type of bugs. If you go into the music application, this also happens in the photos application as well. But if you go into the music application, and you go to albums, for example, and you go into an album, and then you go back and you start scrolling, you can see that the album art kind of scrolls with it. So it's kind of a, a UI glitch there that you see. And that's been happening for a while. And that is still not fixed with the RC build. So I will be checking in the final release if that has been fixed. But you guys can try this out for yourself as well. It happens on every device where that kind of just moves as you slide. We also see something interesting in the code of iOS 26.2. And this was found by Aaron P613. And he says that there's a feature with the code word grape that is related to find my and he says no additional details on what this is for. But it could be hinting at the AirTag 2s. So we've been hearing about the AirTag 2 for quite some time now. And this could be referencing that's AirTag 2 and kind of getting it prepared in the back end for Apple's, you know, software when 26.2 officially launched. Launches. We tend to see things like this in the RC build or the final release, you know, builds of the software versions. And it seems like every time I make one of these videos on 26.2, somebody mentions that the animation for the menus is smoother now. So this is for you guys to, you know, see if it's different for you. But for me, the menu feels about the same. It's been really good ever since the second beta of 26.2. And you can kind of see here how I open this up. Of course, this works for all menus in iOS 26.2. We have that very cool, smooth, liquid glass design for that pop out there. The animation is what makes that so special. And some people always say in every beta that it's gotten smoother, but it feels about the same to me. But if you notice anything different on your end, you can let me know in a comment. Now, taking a look at the release notes for iOS 26.2 RC, we do have a couple of changes in here. So first off, we finally have a fix for the airdrop bug that we've had since beta two. So it says fixed 
Devices set to everyone on 26.2 beta 1 are not discoverable by devices on 26.2 beta 2. Now also if we head down near the bottom we do have a fix for the watch face gallery bug as well so it says fixed watch face gallery text is in English only. And then of course we have that new health kit feature for hypertension notifications that are now available for reading with a new API. Apple has also expanded a few health features to additional countries today and this is kind of corresponding to the 26.2 RC release so they've expanded the hypertension, sleep apnea, and hearing health features to additional countries. So those countries are the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Vietnam for the hypertension notifications. And then for hearing test and hearing aid functionality, that's expanded to Bahrain, Costa Rica, and Paraguay. And then also the sleep apnea notifications have been expanded to Colombia. And that is something you'll see server side. So you won't need to update to 26.2 RC for you to see these features in your country that's going to be taking effect server side on Apple's servers. Now as far as performance and battery life goes if you watched my Apple weekly episode from a few days back I did mention how iOS 26.2 beta 3 gave me the best performance and the best Geekbench score I've seen in quite some time if not ever at all. So we got over a 10,000 on the multi-core so if we go into my CPU benchmark here and go into the history you can see I got a 10,000 multi-core score on this very device the 17 Pro Max. So performance was excellent for me on 26.2 beta 3. So I would expect the RC to be about in line with beta 3, if not even a little bit better. But I don't see the RC being that much better in terms of performance. It could be, but so far it feels about the same to me. I am going to run a fresh Geekbench test here just to see how we score, but I'm not expecting anything to change too dramatically from the previous beta. Okay, so we scored a 99.13 on the multi-core. 3836 on the single core you can see how that compares to the previous run so I actually scored better on beta 3 than the RC but that's not always the end all be all so I would expect performance to be about the same on the RC as the third beta typically the RCs are going to give you better performance and battery life than the betas typically but when the betas especially the later betas are running really well sometimes it's about the same so I would expect that to be the case here now could that change with an RC2 or the final release sure but as of right now, from what I'm seeing, it feels about the same. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life's probably going to be in a similar boat. So we're at 68% now. I believe I started with about 70%. You guys can quote me on that. But battery life is most likely going to be very similar to beta 3 as well. I don't really see anything affecting battery life going from beta 3 to this RC build. So I'd expect battery life and performance to be very similar here in this release, which isn't always what you want to hear, but that's honestly what I'm seeing right now. But that could be changing and we're going to take a look at what to expect next because I think that we very well could be seeing a second RC build for iOS 26.2 because if you look last year Apple did do the same last year with 18.2 so we got an RC2 for 18.2 last year around the same time actually so we should be seeing a second RC for iOS 26.2 next week so maybe we get RC2 on Monday December 8th and we get the final public release the official release of iOS 26.2 potentially on Wednesday December 10th so Apple's done something very similar to that before so I would not be surprised to see that be the exact same scenario next week so we should be seeing RC2 and the final release next week now if that doesn't happen we could be seeing an RC2 next week and then the final release on, at the very latest on the week of December 15th so that's the latest however I would expect to see both RC2 and final release next Next week and then we should be seeing iOS 26.3 beta one kickoff before Apple goes on holiday break until sometime in early January. So that is iOS 26.2 RC. Honestly, a really boring release. Lately, these RCs have been relatively, you know, boring and there's not really much that's mentioned in the release notes or anything like that for the RCs. So I wish I had better, you know, news and more to tell you, but that's all we have right now for the RC of iOS 26.2. So hopefully with RC2, we do see a change log where Apple actually mentioned some changes that have not previously been been discovered but as of right now for the RC it looks very very you know similar to the previous 
beta. So not always a bad thing. Apple does, you know, continue to work on bugs and just issues on the back end as well, which of course is always a welcomed addition. But that is 26.2 RC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in a comment down below if you found anything else new or anything else that's been fixed with this update. Because again, there's not really a lot going on here with this update. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned for Apple Weekly this weekend where I will give you an update on the software to see if it's actually gotten any better or worse or if I discovered anything else after recording this video. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.